I'm Dahlia Schweitzer, and I'm going to be reading an excerpt from my book, Lover Girl. September 27th. After the dungeon, it took me a while to find another sex job, and I missed it. I needed it. I craved it. The danger drew me at the same time that the money seduced me. But before I knew it, I'd accidentally ended up with a slave. It couldn't have happened more randomly. My sublet was about to run out, and I needed a new place to live. As everyone knows, few things are harder to find in Manhattan than a cheap apartment. Hoping to, to avoid the nightmare of classified ads and broker fees, I put flyers up around my neighborhood saying that I was a nice girl looking for a share. I got a few phone calls in response, and one of them was from a friendly guy named Mark. We talked on the phone for about half an hour. He seemed really nice, telling me about his job, and surprisingly enough, not only did he seem to have his act together, but his apartment was nearby and cheap. I went over to check it out. It was pretty small, but the rent was as low as I could ever expect to find. He told me that he traveled a lot, so I'd have the place to myself most of the time. I was tempted. The futon that would be mine was in the main room. I asked him where he would sleep when he was in town. Oh, I just put some blankets on the floor of the closet. It's a good-sized closet, so it works pretty well. I must have looked completely shocked, because he reassured me that it was more comfortable than it looked. It's a walk-in closet, so it's, you know, more of a small room. Perfect size for a bed, and I'm only there a few nights a month anyway, so I don't mind. I'm sure I still looked pretty skeptical, so he decided to change tactics. I want you to feel like it's your apartment, he said. I want it to be as though I was imposing on you when I was at home. This is going to be your place. We'll set it up exactly the way you want it. I'll put all my stuff in storage. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. He was going to put his stuff in storage and sleep in the closet? Are you sure you want a roommate? I wasn't planning on it, but then I saw your flyer and it just felt right. You know what I mean? He looked at me hesitantly as if seeking some kind of approval. I nodded obligingly. My last roommate moved out a few months ago to live with her boyfriend. I didn't expect to replace her, but why not? I like having a woman around, and I'd be saving a couple hundred bucks a month, and I'm rarely here anyway. It just makes sense. I hung out in his apartment for a little while, trying to get a better sense of what he was like. I couldn't figure out where he was coming from, and what sort of a man would sleep in a closet to save a few hundred a month? I started to get a good idea when he started asking me questions. Do you usually wear the pants in your relationship? Was one of them. Do you like being in charge? Was another. Mark also told me that he'd like to do things for me when he was in town. I think women should be worshipped, he said. You work hard and I want to help you. And when I'm in town, I don't have much to do anyway. I'd love to pick up your dry cleaning, your groceries, even cook for you. I really like women. I worship them. I, 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 think, I think they're wonderful creatures. You don't have a problem with that, do you? He asked, sounding all hesitant again. I nodded cautiously. I want to clean the apartment for you. I want to cook you food and go to the store. I'll make you tea, if that's okay. In theory, I guess it seemed fine, a, a little bizarre, but fine. What girl can complain about someone wanting to make her tea and cook her food? How do you feel about being worshipped? I said that was okay. How do you feel about having your feet rubbed? I said that was okay. How do you feel about me kissing your feet? I said that was okay. How do you feel about having a slave? I didn't know what to say to that. I want you to let me do things for you. I want to worship you. I want you to tell me what to do. I didn't know what to say to that. I'll pick up your dry cleaning. I'll get the paper on Sundays. Anything I can think of. I, I just want to make your life easier. What do you think about that? I, I, just, I just want to kiss your feet. He seemed normal. His voice was a little feminine and hesitant, but I imagined that it got deeper and more aggressive when he wasn't talking with a potential mistress. He was even attractive in a Ray Liotta kind of way. I figured I could handle it, but I wasn't sure. Would it be too weird? Or would it actually make my life easier? Maybe, even more bizarrely, it would fulfill my fantasies at the same time that it lowered my rent. I told him I'd call him.